When was the moment you stopped being delusional in your last relationship? I didn't realize how much of a simp I was until I let a girl handcuff me to her desk. She looked like she could call me baby girl and put a sparkly purple stick in me and I'd say, thank you. I would kind of watch her from afar. I definitely looked like a creep, until one day something shifted. When our history teacher handed us our test results, I noticed her looking at my 100. That day, she spoke to me for the first time and I nearly exploded. It was just asking me to explain why she got 15 wrong answers, but it didn't matter. She spoke to me. Her best friend sitting next to her looked at her a little funny for talking to me, but it didn't matter. Because every day since, she would make small conversations with me. I low-key felt like I was getting groomed, so I was excited. One afternoon, she asked me if I could help her study for the next quiz. I agreed and we scheduled a day to meet up at the library. The day of our study date, I started talking to her but she slammed down a pencil and told me, chop chop just do the work bro. I let her talk to me in any way she wanted to because I figured that she'd fall for me if I kept doing her work. But she was so unbothered I could tell it'd take some work to get her attention. Especially since she kept sending these thirsty pictures. And kept replaying NLE Choppa TikTok videos. She would spend the entire sessions on her phone. She ranted about skinny nerds on the phone with someone she called honey. Honestly, I thought she was telling her little sister all about her new crush. Me. I was too scared to ask her about it though. When I finished figuring out all the answers on the study guide, she ripped off a piece of paper. Then she wrote down her Canvas login and gave it to me. She said, I'm sorry but I'm bad at remembering stuff. Would you mind taking the quiz for me? I'd really appreciate it. I was so down bad I said no problem. If you saw the gray sweatpants she was wearing you would have said yes in a heartbeat too. And it helped that she kissed me on the cheek before she left. Sometimes I noticed she'd wipe her mouth right after, but I assumed it was because she smudged her lipstick. So, from then on, I would log onto her account and do her Canvas quizzes for her. It was difficult because our professor changed things. No one had the same questions for each quiz. It was really tiring to do everything and I almost gave up. Though it was worth it because she would touch my leg. She'd ask me for my opinion on her bikini pics, and I was even important enough to be introduced to her friends. I met her best friend who I'll call CC. Keep her in mind and her other two friends. CC was usually quiet but her other friends were very loud and very vocal about being friends with me. Eventually, my crush asked me to do their canvas quizzes too. Me still thinking with the wrong head, agreed. Though I quickly learned my lesson when it took 7 hours to complete all 4 quizzes back to back. The second I finished it was 4am and I passed out. The bad thing was I woke up the next morning with a canvas notification of 0 on my own quiz. That set me back 15 whole points and I couldn't believe I let my grade in a prerequisite get so low. The worst part was we had essays due coming up and there was no way I could do all of them. I had to act fast and look for websites that would do the work for me, like ChatGPT and Quillbot to write the essays. However, my biggest problem was these Canvas quizzes. They could detect when I cheated or used any extensions. I needed something that wouldn't get me caught and would answer every question correctly. It wasn't until late at night that I found an AI called Study Buddy that Canvas wouldn't be able to detect. I installed the Chrome extension and started doing everyone's homework. I was shocked when it only took me 45 minutes instead of 7 hours to complete everything now that I was using the AI. I could finally sleep at night after Study Buddy gave me the answers to the multiple choice questions. When the girls all saw their grades they were more than happy and thanked me every time they saw me. Though some days my crush wouldn't bat me an eye and I felt like I was going nowhere with her. To get my mind off her I went to the library to get some studying done when all of a sudden, CC came to see me. She came with some homework and asked if I could help her with it. I didn't mind but I expected her to give me the silent treatment like my crush did. She was genuinely asking questions and reciprocating. She learned quickly too so we finished in an hour. After that, she invited me to grab a slice of pizza as a thank you. The entire time we just smack talked about everyone on campus. Then CC did a massive lore drop when she said that my crush has had a boyfriend for three years. This hit me like an eight-wheeler truck. CC noticed that I was surprised so she asked me what was up. I confess that I've had a crush on her best friend for a long time now. It's literally why I've been doing their homework for free. CC was surprised to find out that her best friend wasn't even paying me. She said that's the only reason she was cool with me doing her work. She felt bad and asked me how the hell I did all their homework. I told her it wasn't that much of a problem since I just used Study Buddy AI. When she asked what it was, I showed her how quickly it automatically answers the questions. I helped her download the Google Chrome extension on her MacBook right after. She bought me an extra pizza slice for putting her on and said she'd use it when taking her midterms. Afterwards, she promised me that she'd cut off my crush. I thought that was pretty cool of her, but realizing I was being played left a sour taste in my mouth. CC saw how I looked like I was about to crash out so she gave me the perfect idea. The next day I did my crush's work and screenshotted her proof that I completed the assignment. Then at the last minute before the due time, I unsubmitted her assignments. I left a comment for the professor saying, I'm not doing this poop. You're a divorced Rena professor. You graduated from Purdue University online while your wife got her vertebrae blown out. I even wrote a letter to our professor, telling her that my crush kept peeking at my table during our last quiz. When the professor responded, Responded, I got my crush in trouble for 15 different quizzes. This meant she would make her have to repeat a semester. You don't know how satisfying it felt to see she got a zero on her midterm while CC got a 100 after using Study Buddy AI. Oh, and I sent her little boyfriend all the love letters she sent me. The one where she claimed she'd touch my little man if I finished one more assignment. Later today as a thank you. I'm heading to CC's dorm because she's gonna be my wingman. She showed a picture of me to her fine roommates and she said she'd hit. Exposing cheaters always leaves a sweet taste on my tongue. Or maybe that's the girls I'm finally gonna get.